Right, welcome back. Uh, we're on the business planning videos. Uh, we talked earlier about how to generate market appraisals, um, but the key is converting those market appraisals into listings. So decide what you want to convert, whether that's 40, 50, 30%, whatever it is. Um, but the key is converting them. So we've generated them. How do we convert market appraisals to listings? Put four points, um, brainstorm this, come up with some ideas. What things can you do differently to ensure you improve your conversion from whatever it is, and it might be 30% to 40%, or from 20% to 40%, or to 50%, whatever it is. Um, now, again, this is, these should be your ideas. I can just give you some examples. Um, I would make sure that you hand deliver um, your pre-appraisal uh, letter. Um, not only because it's good to hand deliver the letter, but it's also good to introduce yourself to the owner, knock on their door and say, hi, I just want to introduce myself. My name's Sean, I'm coming to see you on Thursday, or I spoke to you on, on the phone. Um, but also, uh, it gives you a chance to sort of put, uh, say to the owner, I just want to put, a, so you can put a name to a face. Um, but also it gives me an opportunity to have a look at your house from the outside so I can do my research and come prepared. Um, so hand deliver, or you could just send a video uh, bio about yourself and your company. Um, you could send that by email or by text, but do something to stand out from the rest of them before you get there. Maybe include a, a, a bio, printed bio about you or your, your meet the team in your office or some testimonials. Um, secondly, what else can you do? Obviously you've got to have a great presentation. Okay, or a great proposition. So, and you might need training, you might want to go out with colleagues, but you've got to have an irresistible proposition so they're going to want to use you as opposed to another agent. So what else can you do? Um, so other things that you can do is have some uh, reviews of uh, clients that have used you before, um, or maybe some case studies. So an examples of properties that have been for sale with another agent and you sold it, an example of property you sold above the asking price. So make sure you've got some examples of success and, and why they should use you to sell their property. There's some ideas, I'm sure there's plenty others, but at least that's something to get you started. Hope that helps. Uh, next video we'll do how to convert those, once you've got those listings, into sales.